Hello again, YouTube back again with another update video. This time it's the new iOS 10 developer beta 3. Just released. The update weighs in just about 230-ish megabytes from the beta 2. So yeah, let's take a look at what is different on the beta 3 running on the iPhone 5. So as you can see right here, the clock, if you shift it to the top right there, the clock will move itself to the status bar, which is a really nice detail right there. A new one also is the new lock screen sound. It's just a very subtle click, as you can see right here. Yeah, it's a very subtle click. I don't know, I think I still prefer the old echoey one. So yeah, let's jump into the messages app. Another change is that now attachments, if you see right here, if you got a portrait photo or a landscape one, it will show accordingly. Previously, it's just a crop version of all the photos that you have. So it's pretty hard to determine if this is a landscape or a portrait photo. But now it now shows all right there. Pretty nice addition. Now also the keyboard sound refers back to the beta one. Let me get it a little bit closer. A very subtle clicking sound, which is pretty nice, much better than the previous ones. So that's it about it. Um, but photos, bugs. Bugs here, still the same details bug. Still there, and also swipe up, it crashes. Still the same. Come on Apple, it should be better at that. Okay, notes, uh, small changes right here, the new icon for the at people. Okay, a <laughs> very small update right there. Okay, uh, now go to settings, to Siri. There is a new page right here, it's a bit slow to load. App support, so you can, the full person now can add Siri to their apps. It's just pretty nice addition by Apple as announced in the WWDC. Health app, They're not really much different. There is a watch over video, over, although it doesn't really work for now. And also, video doesn't work as well, but there is now a description about each video that you have right there. Pretty nice addition right there. Okay, so let's go to the contacts. Previously, it lacks, but Oh, it lags a little bit right there, but now it's a whole lot smoother, in my opinion, yeah. As you can see right there, it's smoother, and now the icon about there, the A, doesn't shift up like the previous beta, so now it's nice and smooth and bug-free. Pretty good. Now go to Safari, on the share button right here. You got your option to add to iCloud Drive. This applies to Safari and also Mail. Pretty good by them. Music app shows download music again. Previously it was downloads, but now to change it back to download music. Search now, it searches your library first, not the entire Apple Music library. Pretty good, nice addition. Now folder animation looks if you can see right here, a lot smoother, which is pretty good. And also on the control center, if you can see it right there, the fonts for AirPlay and AirDrop is a little bit bolder right now. Pretty good. And yeah, that's about it. And also, oh wait, uh, let's see about the previous beta animation. If you are in a different home screen, as you can see right here. Now the animation is fixed, just like the iOS 9. The previous beta fades to black and then goes with the animation. Pretty good, and yeah, overall performance is pretty smooth for now, for the beta 3. So yeah, like this video if you like it, and subscribe to see even more videos about this new iOS and Android update. So yeah, Thanks all for watching and have a nice day.